I was reminded of a story this past week that I think illustrates a lot of principles in the Bible, especially Deuteronomy 33, 27 that says, Underneath are the everlasting arms. Psalm 56, 3 that says, When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Proverbs 3, Trust in the Lord. 1 Peter, Cast your cares on him because he cares for you. And it's a story of a Peanuts cartoon with Charlie Brown and Peppermint Patty. And they're both sitting under a tree. And Peppermint Patty asks Charlie Brown a question. She says, lately everything seems to bother me. What do you mean, asks Charlie. What do you think security is, Chuck, says Patty. Security, says Charlie. Security, and then Charlie waxes eloquently. Security is like sleeping in the back seat of the car when you were a little kid and you've been somewhere with your mom and dad and it's night and you're riding home in the car. You can sleep in the back seat. You don't have to worry about anything and your mom and dad are in the front seat and they do all the worrying for you. They take care of everything. Ah, oh, that's really neat, says Peppermint Patty. But Charlie, of course, says, but it doesn't last. Suddenly you're grown up and it can never be that way again. Suddenly it's over and you never get to sleep in the back seat again. Never? Asked Patty. Absolutely never, says Charlie. And then it ends by Patty saying to Charlie, hold my hand. Do you remember that feeling when you were a little boy or a little girl? And then do you remember your parents carrying up, carrying you up, putting you in bed and you felt safe, secure? slept soundly without a worry or care in the world. And now as adults and grown-ups, we uh, are anything but asleep securely in the back seat of the car. In fact, we climb over the back seat and try to take control of the steering wheel metaphorically with God. And when things aren't going right in our life, our control even ramps up even more. So I love this story as a wonderful reminder that we are safe in the love of God. We are held in God's love. We are safe at home with God already. Can we trust? Can we learn to let go? And even when those things are happening in our lives that we don't understand and we wish they weren't, can we still trust and love? Can we say to God, God, all right, this is your problem. Do all the worrying for me because I'm worn out. And I will trust in you and your goodness and in your love. Maybe it goes back to the image of God that we have. Whether God is loving and caring and supporting or God is angry, vengeful, and wrathful. I choose the love. And to be safe and secure in that love. So may that story remind you and help you to let go and trust in God's love and let God do the worrying and know that underneath are the everlasting arms of God. So, until next time, may you live all the days of your life.